Well, hey friends, how are you? Happy summer. Y'all, I just have to preface this by saying my house is 85 degrees right now. Um, I'm filming in the evening, hoping that it would be just a little bit cooler and I could turn my fan off because we don't have air conditioning. Um, so we're just gonna roll with it uh, and hope that I can get through this without sweating buckets because I'm already glowing. <laughs> Well, hey guys, my name is Mandy and welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. This is Sweetly Home and we love to talk about all things heart and home here on my channel. So today I've got a really kind of fun video for you. I kind of say that every time, um, but I tend to just really like fun things, so it's always true. Um, this is a homeschool mom's favorite things collab. And the preface was it could be any favorites that you currently have. All the mamas participating are homeschool moms. We have Rachel from Day to Day Joys, Abby from Full Time Wife Life. There is Candace from Homeschool on the Hill and Shirley with Home and Arrows and me. <laughs> um, so we are all going to share with you our favorite things currently. So I'm going to have all of these ladies channels linked down below. I'd love it if you would give them a check out, like check out their video, check out their channel, check out what they're up to in their homeschools and in their summer and all of the fun things. So I also want to say if you hear a lot of screaming, my kids are outside spraying each other with the hose before bed because again, it's just so hot. So, all right, so when we were talking about this collab, Rachel, who put it together, kind of said, any of your favorites, whatever you're doing. But she said, this is kind of how I'm leaning towards it. Uh, she was gonna have like a, something that she's reading, something that she's eating, and a few other different criterias um, that she was gonna do for her video. And a lot of us were kind of like, mm, that's a really good idea. So I'm gonna kind of follow along with that idea because it's a really good jumping off point to share with you some of my favorites. So first one is, what are you currently reading that's your favorite? And for me, hands down, it is The Brave Learner by Julie Bogart. This book, I didn't even, who I just, I feel like I'm just gonna go on and on and on about this, but I didn't even really know who Julie Bogart was, to be perfectly honest. I know, am I under a rock? Probably, I, you know. But um, I went to our bookstore and I was just thumbing through like some of the books that they have for teaching and the cover of Julie's book jumped out at me and I was like, what is this? Because it has like these rainbow stairs and you know I love all things like rainbow. Um, and I flipped it over and I flipped through it and I'm like, ooh, I think I'm gonna really like this. And y'all, this is a book that I have been reading so slowly because I wanna suck in all the information. And I think that when I finish, cause I'm on like the last two chapters, I'm gonna restart it again because it is so rich. It's the kind of book that I'm highlighting, I'm underlining, it is changing so much for me. I just cannot sing enough praises about it. Um, it is about homeschooling and home education, but she even says that like it's just not for homeschoolers. Like learning is a lifelong thing for anybody, um, and to help your kids love learning, there's just I mean that's just such an amazing gift to give to your children. So um, if you do get the book, she has a free companion guide to it. It's like 90 pages or something like that. It's so cute, but it's so um, in depth and it really helps unpack a lot of the ideas and allows you to kind of just start formulating some of these things and getting the ideas from your head out onto paper. So um, I think it's under the bravelearner.com where you can print that out, but definitely check out that resource. So the next question is, what are you using or doing that is your favorite? So currently I have um, a job working as the kid ministry assistant at our church, and I am loving it. Like, love with a capital L. Um, I So what is happening is our kids ministry pastor is, t is she is working like crazy throughout the summer for this huge day camp that we run um, with hundreds of kids and she's 
in charge of it all. And it just doesn't leave her a lot of margin to also pour into our kids' ministry. Um, and so I'm going to be taking that off of her plate. And so during the summer, I'm running our kids' ministry program, which is from infants to um, 12 years old. And I will be doing the service for our kids from 5 to 12. Um, we've also had a huge influx of new families to our church. We're like registering 10, 11 students every single week and we are having to create new classes for kids because it's we're just busting at the seams with new people and it's so awesome. And so doing that is filling up all of my time. Um, I am just so into it y'all. Like I am just, I've fallen in love um, with this whole kid ministry position and building volunteer, like our volunteer teams, like building them up and pouring into them. Like I'm just like on the very edge. This Sunday is my first Sunday um, leading by myself. So I'm just like on the jumping off point of like doing all of these things. Um, so I'm listening to podcasts, I'm watching YouTube videos, um, I am praying up, I am like letting God just lead like where he wants to lead and lead me and use me and seriously it's just kind of consumed all that I've that I'm doing. So um, that is the main thing that I'm doing and using that kind of comes along with it is um, an iMac. <laughs> so our church all runs on like all Mac products uh, and so since I'm a PC girl they um, bought me a iMac to use and I'm loving it and I think those of you who do use Mac would probably agree with me like girl we know it's good <laughs> um and so i i see now um so yeah that's just been really fun to like get to learn how that computer works versus a pc and um i'm just on it all the time because it's really lightweight and it's easy and portable and my other laptop is like huge it's like a 17 inch and it's really heavy um, my pc so it's hard to like lug around. So using and doing, that's what I've been up to like all the time. So product I love. Okay, so I knew instantly when Rachel asked to do this like collab, I knew I was gonna talk about this product. So uh, I wanna tell you about the foundation and primer that I use for the summer. So side note, I am not wearing the primer today, which is why I think I'm just so like oily because I'm not wearing a good primer. But as soon as I can get to Sephora, which is actually probably tomorrow, the day that you're watching this, um, I am getting this primer. So what it is, is it's the Peach Perfect Foundation and Peach Perfect Primer from Too Faced Cosmetics. It is so cute. The packaging is like adorable. It's pink and gold and it's so fun. Um, I wore this last summer and the primer itself has a cooling effect which is really nice in the summer uh, and it holds your the peach perfect foundation just all day and the peach perfect foundation is just like super touchable foundation um i again please do not <laughs> please do not judge a book by its cover with this mug because again i spent a full day um, and this is not a good uh, a primer and I have oily skin so that's the other thing very oily skin so I need like a mattifying primer I also need um, a setting powder so but that combo is just golden it is so good and I love it so next is your favorite food and uh, I don't know, there's a lot of things that I could tell you about, different recipes that I have been making a lot of, but if I really wanted to tell you what I'm running out and getting right now is two things. One is Halo Top ice cream, uh, and I'm loving the cookie dough flavor. Now you can't compare Halo Top with actual ice cream because it's just different, the consistency is a little bit different. But if you're eating kind of low-carb, keto, Trim Healthy Mama, um, it satisfies that ice cream craving without actually having ice cream. Um, and then the second thing is Lily's Chocolate Bars. And they are, again, they are um, low-carb, keto, uh, Trim Healthy Mama friendly. Um, 
They have no sugar in them. They're sweetened with stevia, but they are so good. I actually finished off part of a bar before I started filming, and because my house is so warm, the bar had started to just kind of soften. Let me tell you, that was so good. If I had a microwave, I would probably soften my my piece before I ate it every time because it was just really good. I prefer the milk chocolate, uh, but they have like um, almonds, they have dark chocolate, they have a bunch of different flavors, but for me it's just kind of all about that milk chocolate. And so the last question is, what is your favorite like school type thing? Um, and for me right now, uh, when I'm not like all immersed into doing my Kidman stuff, it is all the time watching homeschool videos like I love to see what people are doing for their curriculum um, I love to see like homeschool organization videos I just love to see how people teach like everything um, I tend to just watch a lot of those and binge a lot especially as we're coming up on uh, getting ready for homeschool um, public school just let out here last Friday so this is July 4th and they just let out. Um, so yeah, for Canada, well, Ontario, at least where we live, we have a couple more weeks of summer. I know some, some people have been out since like April or May and I don't know. I'm just, this is one of the reasons I wanted to homeschool was so that we didn't have to be on the public school system schedule and be going to school all summer <laughs> so anyways for me it's my favorite thing right now is all things um, YouTube and homeschool related so there you have it those are some of my favorite things right now I would love it if you would tell me some of your favorites that are that you're loving that you're doing that you're eating where you're going whatever I love to know because I honestly I just find some of the best recommendations from other people's experiences I like to try new products because so and so has the same skin as me or they have really great taste in clothes or they read some awesome stuff or whatever like the best recommendations come from other people who've had experiences so I would love to know your favorite things and make sure that you go check out the other ladies in this collab their links will be listed down below thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye taking over on Sundays on Sunday mornings <laughs> I'm taking over I'm taking over Sunday mornings for our kid ministry um, for our kid past can I talk <laughs>